Hey guys! So today is going to be a how I wash my hair extension video. Lots of you guys have requested to see this video and I wanted to show you guys my method because I've seen a lot of hair extension washing videos here on YouTube and every time I wash them I'm just like why are they putting in so much work? Why are they taking forever to do that? So the way that I wash my hair extensions hopefully will save you guys some time. It saves me a ton of time because when I did first start wearing hair extensions, I obviously used to wash them individually weft by weft. But now I don't do that at all. So it cuts down the washing time probably in half. But with that being said, I also want to mention that the hair extensions that I do wash in the video are my Hello Gorgeous Ombre extensions. And I've had these for probably probably a year and a half now and I have washed these maybe only four times the entire time that I've owned them because I've had a lot of hair extensions and when I first started wearing them I used to wash them constantly and I realized through trial and error that washing them more and more like I used to wash them kind of weekly and I realized that they would just I would have to purchase a new pair way sooner so I realized that they didn't need to be washed as much as, you know, natural hair does. They don't smell, I mean they smell really good right now because I just washed them, but they don't get like a weird smell to them or anything like that. And if they're curly one day and I need to wear my hair straight, I just run my hair straightener through it and it straightens no problem. So I want to say don't wash your hair extensions, like don't go crazy. Don't wash them every time you wash your own hair. Don't even wash them weekly. Don't even wash them monthly. Wash them only when you feel like it's time. Like I can start to feel my hair extensions and be like, oh, you know, they kind of need a wash. They're not feeling as soft as they usually do. Um, but I also don't put a lot of product in my hair extensions because um, hair extension hair, I find I don't need any product for the curl to stay. Natural hair, yes. Um, hair extensions, no. So I don't really put a ton of product in them. So if you're putting product in your hair extensions, you don't really need to. And if you are, you're probably going to have to wash them more just because product buildup is not cute. Just keep that in mind that they don't need to be washed super, super often. Like I said, I've had these a year and a half and I've maybe washed them four times. I usually always wash my hair extensions when I first get them because if you don't know this, um, extensions are vacuum sealed. So it takes pretty much all the volume out of them. And when you wash them, it kind of puts that all back into the hair. Now if you have a less expensive brand sometimes they have like a coating on the hair so if you wash them then the hair kind of gets all funky afterwards so if you have quality hair extensions go ahead and wash them when you first get them and you'll be your hair will be so much more voluminous you'll be like oh I like that. We're going to jump right in to the demo part of me showing you guys how to wash the extensions. And then I have a really fun giveaway after that, so stay tuned for that. Okay, let's go wash our hair. Okay, so this is the hot mess pile that we are starting with. So obviously the first thing that you're going to want to do is brush your extensions to make sure there's no knots or tangles or anything like that. Then all you want to start doing is taking all your wefts and wrapping them around each other. Kind of like when you first get your hair extensions and they're all bundled together. Just trying to keep them as tight and as close as you can. Then you should be left with something like this and you're going to take our secret weapon which is a hair tie and you're just going to wrap it around twice or however many times you need to to make it feel secure. The next part is pretty self-explanatory. All you're going to do is get them wet. Now, I like to not get the top part of my hair extensions wet because that's where the metal clips are, so I like to avoid that whole area up there. And basically, I just use whatever shampoo I have. This is what I have in my shower at the moment. And we're just going to lather these bad boys up. Again, avoiding the top part of the extensions. After that, you're just going to obviously rinse them out, and this is optional, but I usually shampoo twice, so that is all I'm doing right here, is I'm just going to go back in once more and shampoo them. That's just my personal preference. If you don't want to do that, don't feel like you have to. Next, 
I'm going to condition them and most of the time I use, like to use some kind of moisturizing conditioner just because they get pretty dry because they're used all the time and not washed as often but they're still good to go so any kind of conditioner you have will be perfectly fine. like to let them sit for a second maybe three four minutes five if you want to clean up whatever you have to do but I do like to let the conditioner sit on there for a small amount of time before I rinse them out and then obviously you want to rinse them now key here is to make sure you get all of the conditioner out you don't want to leave any behind because then that could make them feel a little waxy when you wear them so just be really cautious in washing them and make sure you get all the conditioner out I just like to set them on a towel and kind of squeeze the moisture out of them you don't want to rub them or anything so just give them a good little squeeze and make sure that most of the water is out and this is optional as well but this is just a miracle 7 leave-in mist that I like to spray on and kind of run through um, it just makes them it's like a leave-in conditioner for your hair extension so it makes them more soft then I'm just going to grab any kind of brush. This is a tangle teaser, teaser tangle or something like that. It's meant for um, brushing knots and stuff. So it's really good for hair extensions as well. And that's it. And I'm just gonna let these air dry. Um, that picture right there is just hanging off of my tripod. I do like to hang them to dry, but if you don't have anything to hang them on, you could leave them like this as well. And that's it. That's how I wash them. So now you know my secret weapon is a hair tie. Bundle all your hair together and it cuts your washing time down in half. So like I said, I do usually let them air dry unless I do need to wear them the next day. And if that's the case, I will blow dry them a little bit, but I will obviously spray them with a the heat protectant just to make sure that they're nice and safe. Okay, so obviously the surprise, I know you can tell by the title, is I'm having another giveaway, and this time I'm giving away five sets of Hello Gorgeous Ombre Extensions. Yay! Okay, Hello Gorgeous Extensions is definitely my favorite brand. The quality of the hair is amazing. They're really thick. I believe that these are 220 grams of hair. So Shannon, who is the owner, was kind enough to let me do a giveaway and give you guys Ombre Extensions. So... One of the huge questions I get with ombre extensions is, does my natural hair need to be ombre -ed? My natural hair is ombre right now, but when I first started wearing these, and I'll link a video down below, I didn't have ombre hair. My hair was just all one color, and I still wore these. So as long as your hair, you can see the ombre kind of starts like right here. So as long as your natural hair will cover the line, then you can wear these ombre extensions. And she does have three different colors. So mine are um, medium brown to light brown. So yeah, I'm super excited to give away five sets of these because they are my all time favorite extensions. All you have to do is leave me a comment down below and tell me why you love hair extensions. Or if you've never owned hair extensions, tell me why you want them. So I'm gonna let the contest run for two weeks. And again, make sure you check the bottom bar for for all the info and details and everything that you need to do to be entered. Obviously you need to be a subscriber to this channel. That's a given. Um, but everything else is down below. So that is everything that I want to say. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I hope I taught you a new faster way on how to wash your hair extensions. So remember if you want to be entered into the giveaway just leave me a comment down below and you should be good to go. So that is everything. I hope you guys enjoyed and until next time I will talk to you guys soon. Bye.